Hi folks and welcome to this Formula V track guide at uh, Lime Rock Park and this is the uh, well I used to like it it's the one with the chicanes both of them so the one up the hill and uh, the one before the second to last corner so where we are at the moment and uh, yeah I don't mind them in other cars skippy fine I don't think I've raced GT3s around here with it anyway I've raced Mazdas around it absolutely fine this little cheeky rascal however on this chicane right here massive spin warning um yeah it's it's such a slow corner that it's kind of between gears you can just take it in third but second is oh well, i thought second was better gave me a bit of a punch out the corner and stopped me spinning every five minutes so yes massive spin warning coming here so i will warn you when we get round on the guide um otherwise let's show you some info for you uh, moderate usage which is what i always use 45 percent. so you could have high you can have low low will be less grip high will be more grip all dandy uh air temperature for some reason 78 fahrenheit track temperature 120 fahrenheit degrees will be above my head so a nice toasty slippery track which might explain why i was spinning out so much honest not driver or anything definitely not um yeah how i get any sessions will be above my head as well um yeah so basically in a nutshell i try and use the ui to get in close as we can to what we will be racing this week sometimes i am a little bit off sometimes i'm bang on the money but this is close so i can get it and that's why i show you this information just so we're all on the same page the lap i'm going to show you is actually lap 11 you can see there, there's a few uh longer laps let's say uh but the lap i'm going to show you is a 109.504 so yeah that was pretty much the best lap got back into the 1095s down here after i was uh experimenting track limits and uh, yeah yeah pretty much that uh, above my head as well will be my discord so in there we've got a nice schedule so you know what track guides are coming up and what i've done in the past so if you are looking for a series should be in there also the olap b lap telemetry and replay file will be in there from this as well so you can join in watch the replay watch my pedal inputs see where uh, what i'm doing different from you see where where you might be quicker than me in fact uh, it's not uncommon to be honest so yeah let me know how you get along with that otherwise let's crack on with the guide so lime rock park the one with the chicanes uh easy turn one that's why we're doing pretty fast to get down to the one meter board and we are turning in at this point and then just as we approach the bridge you want to stand on the brakes uh really late on the brakes in here because we can carry some of the braking into this corner because we've straight lined it already ease out to mid track don't go too far wide it's easy to run off the grass and then you see i get a little bit turning so i have to ease off the steering wheel not ideal Loads of curb, V can take it, not a problem, but that does push us a teeny tiny bit wide on the grass. So just be mindful of that for spinning out and so forth. This turn is kind of an awkward braking zone, so this is when I start braking, as always. It's kind of awkward, but you want a nice light apex here, and we really want to stay on the left-hand side. We really need to open up turn four, because there is a long, long straight, uh, or there usually is on the other one. So yeah, open up turn four, bit of curb, not a problem, straight line it, easy as that. Bit of a speed up now that is apparently called no name straight so who knew and we are hunting for the tree that's hanging over here just before the start of the barrel on the left hand side we are standing down into third gear third or second i third it seems better second is way too high you see i'm going a little bit hot compromises my second left hander there but as long as you're missing these huge red curves you'll be absolutely golden Another speed up now for the second set of chicanes, which it, this was a huge pain in the rear for me. So this is spin corner. Uh, about just before the start of the uh, curbing on the left-hand side, you want to break in a straight line. And this is where I change on the second. Feels like you're doing about two miles an hour at this point, but it enables you to get these corner right and get on the throttle really, really early, which helped me immensely. Going around there in third gear, I was just finding I was losing the rear end really, really awkward. So be careful around there for people spinning and uh, don't spin yourself. So yeah, I found it easier in second gear. Last corner doesn't even exist. Really, really easy to get done in the V and we are flying to the start finish line, which is a long, long way down, remember, at Lime Rock Park. So be warned if someone is up your jacksie and looking for a slipstream. But that us across the line in a 109.504. So yeah, a bit longer than the original Lime Rock that we were at a few weeks ago. But still equally good i don't mind the first chicanes the second chicanes really really pain in the rear so just by that in mind get some practice around it be careful of other people spinning out i i i i'm predicting that is going to be a dangerous area to be put it that way otherwise that is this guide done and dusted thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed this catch you on the next one